Oh my god, why does this guy keep on calling me? Jeez. Welcome back to the Daily Wheel Spin. You're in Rob's Arcade. I'm your host, Rob French. And uh, that's basically uh, what it sounds like. I'm already here at the casino. The game just kind of started me here, so we're going to go in and spin the wheel. But this is where I just kind of like to hang out with you guys here on my channel and just kind of catch up. Try to do it on a daily basis. So I call it the daily wheel spin. I should call it like the periodic wheel spin here on GTA. But it's just like I to hang out with you in this virtual, virtual world of Los Santos. The where I feel the, um, a brand new car available to win today. yeah, we Simply see it, it looks pretty sharp. Kind of looks like something out of like a Batman animated series show, if you ask me. But yeah, we're here in Los Santos in this, like, virtual world I've kind of, uh, adapted, uh, with my little avatar here. And where kind of do anything you want so I like to do these little wheel spins just kind of hang out I used to do a Monday show here and talk to you guys you and your can go for but some that got action. kind of monotonous and start living the life you deserve and here I can like fly planes and drive cars and do things and spin the wheel every 24 hours just kind of hang out with like you said here in this little virtual world uh, and I'm going somewhere with this here in this virtual world where I do believe gun violence has its place. But, uh, not so much in the real world. It's been pretty sad. Uh, waking up every day, hopping on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and just seeing all these horrible stories of these poor kids. Got gunned down in Texas just this week on their last day of school. And uh, it's just absolutely, uh, it's absolutely crazy to, wrap, to try to wrap my head around it. My mom and I were talking about that earlier, just trying to like wrap our heads around the whole situation. Uh, when I first heard the story, I was actually at work. And uh, I assumed because of the age of the shooter, who's 18. Um, thank you. Uh, that it was a high school thing. You know, which I thought was awful in of itself. Like, oh man, these poor high school kids um, that aren't gonna, gonna experience anything, you know, beyond those years, and they come to find out RP points. Oh, some cash. Okay, that's a little different. Almost RP points. We've been hitting RP points lately. But yeah, I was just really surprised. I was like, man, shocked to find out it was a 18-year-old shooter, but a, a, a elementary school. I was like, man. It's like absolutely just devastating. Um, not gonna get to experience anything, nothing at all. Fortnite is basically where they uh, where they checked out. Disney Channel and Fortnite. That's about as far as they made it. They'd be like now picturing like you know. Me like I brought that girl home from the bar, man. getting as far as you know, Super Mario three. I know she was a skank. I was drunk as hell, man. In Disney afternoon. What's my car here? What's my car doing here? Oh, it is here. Cool. I was gonna call a car, but I got one here already. So yeah, of course, like everybody else, you know, my th thoughts and prayers um, just go out with every to everybody. Affected and it's just crazy. I've lost so many friends to gun violence myself, whether it be, you know, intentional, accidental. Uh, it's just really crazy. I'm trying to think, where do I want to go? Let's see here. Maybe head out this way while I talk. I don't know if we'll actually make it this far, but but let's head out this way here. That's weird. 
But yeah, it's just really sad. Um, you know, the last day of school. And, you know, we play these games and have a good time, like, shooting each other. And, you know, I, I used to play, you know, Golden Eye. I was like, this fun games to, uh, to play growing up. And just the other day, I had my uh, cousin's kids were here playing Grand Theft with me. We were just, like, customizing motorcycles. And then at some point... It came about, um, you know, blowing everybody away. But even I think Grand Theft has enough decency not to put, like, kids <laughs> in the game. You know, you can't just drive to a park or to the beach. Can't drop to the beach, period. Sorry, I was checking my phone. Not this one. Jeez. Just checking my real phone to make sure Lester wasn't calling that one too. But yeah, it's just it's just really sad. Just yeah, all around. Movie theaters aren't safe, schools aren't safe, grocery stores. Highways. <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, we're getting into the weekend. Hopefully, you guys um having a good week so far. Make sure uh, we hit that subscribe button. We got uh hopefully a new game Friday coming tomorrow. Hunters, what is it? Hunters? No, Hoods. Outlaws and Legends. And uh, it's uh, one of the free games I got last month on um, PS was it Plus. So we'll be checking that out, hopefully. Got to work tomorrow night, but hopefully we can get a little, uh, little game time in. God, I'm just not liking the position of uh, this television. Alright, everybody, remember where we parked. Oh, he's good. He got up. Look, he's even running. Yeah, like I said, hopefully we got a, we got a new game Friday coming uh, tomorrow. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. Great way to start off your weekend. Watch me play a little video games. Plus, you just never want to miss anything we got on the channel, you know. We got Lester calling me all the time. Got these daily or periodical wheel spins. Um, we got, uh, you know, the midweek breakdown. Oh, this is interesting. So I, I was talking yesterday on my midweek breakdown about the, um, like the Heritage comics and the the Voice comics and the Pride comics that come out. Sometimes I just don't, you know, understand just like the content. <laughs> I did some research. I was really confused as to why Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy was in the Asian Pride Heritage uh, comic. I thought she was an alien. I thought she came from another planet. Uh, but come to find out. She's not. She's actually half Vietnamese. It's like, wouldn't that have been kind of important to kind of include in her story? Since it is like about her heritage? I, I had no idea. I always thought every story I've ever read with that character has taken place in outer space, whether she's like fighting Thanos or just, you know, hanging with the Guardians or whatever. Even in the comic books, I've always just seen her, you know, Hanging out with Star Lord or Silver Surfer or whatever, and uh, I had no idea she was. I thought she was an alien. It's like, how does this work? How does this tie in? But they did their just. I, I got up this morning and was like doing research, like trying to figure out, like, how does this? How does this work? How does an alien character, and not even from this galaxy? But I guess that's their. That was their job, like you know. 
to, to get into these characters, look into them, see who they are, see what they're all about, and that's exactly what I wound up doing, so. Kudos, DC Comics and Marvel Comics. Kudos to you. Yeah, we got a midweek breakdown coming up next Wednesday. And I know I can cut that off, but, you know, like it's kind of part of the game. I just kind of roll with it. Uh, we got another one coming up Wednesday. I'm actually going to jump into um, some more of that since I guess we, st we still are in the whole, uh, was it, AAPI Heritage Month. Um, since we, st we still are uh, in there for the next few days, about a week or so, I, d I do want to jump back in and talk about a few things. I want to talk about Bruce Lee a little bit, I think, next Wednesday. He was always one of my, uh, my favorite heroes growing up. No relation to Stan Lee. And uh, I always loved Bruce Lee movies. Uh, it was like just, I was just fascinated by the, you know, his characters and then who he was as an actor and then as an individual. Just mind-blowing. So I think I'm going to talk about him a little bit um, on this midweek breakdown coming up. And, and possibly throughout the week, next week. Um but then also some more about the comics, just some some thoughts and feelings that I I feel that you know they do a good job of uh, bringing light to these characters, but maybe more to some of the creators as well. Had to do a little research myself and figure out exactly like you know what what some of the context of these variant covers were and like who some of these guys were behind it, and you know it would have been nice if uh, some of these companies just kind of put would put that in the books as well. But anyway, I'm going to jump into that next week. I think next week's going to be a really fun midweek midweek breakdown. Oh, my rod's here. Oh, damn. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out. Um, make sure you comment down below. I always like to hear from you. I try to comment or at least like it. You know, I might not always comment, but at least try to like your comments. Oh, that was not good the way I wanted it to. I've got an Austin Powers thing going on. Oh, yeah, make sure you comment. Make sure you give me a thumbs up for support. Share the video. Let's get some more people in here. And, uh... Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future mayhem. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. I will hopefully uh, talk to you guys again tomorrow. Until next time, take care of each other. Respect each other. Don't answer any phone calls from Lester. Remember, this isn't goodbye. Simply to be continued. And until next time, don't spend that quarter anywhere else. Take care. Bye. It's like Goonies. course.